this is nice. This is nice. Got my new bathysphere here. I was in the bargain basement and I can't believe this thing was for sale. This is amazing. I got it dirt cheap. All right. Well, time to go exploring in the deep. We all live in a yellow bathysphere. A yellow bathysphere. Oh, yeah. Hmm. A little bit of a leak here. That's not well. Maybe maybe I'll just I'll just hold that. Okay. We all live in a yellow bathysphere. A uh, yeah. Uh, is it drip? Is it dripping? I. Okay. Let me let me hold that. All right. All right. I think I got it. I got. It. Okay. We all live. Yeah, it's definitely water is definitely rushing in. I I don't know if I can I can do this or get what I can, this is we're going down. <laughs> well, I got myself to the local repair shop and I think we've patched up the leaks and I believe I have an operational bathysphere. So welcome to Bargain Basement Bathysphere of Beachside Bay. It's a campaign series of roll and write games by Scott Slomiani. And this one first came to my attention from a Shut Up and Sit Down video. So thank you, Quinns over there, for uh, introducing me to this game. I decided this is a good chance to print this one out and give it a try. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, well, you can download it on BoardGameGeek, and it comes as 64 pages. Uh, which I have not taken a look at yet because it is a campaign, campaign and it's, they ask you to you know, keep a secret, don't look ahead. So this is, this is the second map. I played the first one. I think the first two maps are, are practice maps. Uh, so you'll see, here, here's this first one that's already marked up. This is uh, Bathysphere Zero EZ. Uh, easy, but I thought I made it and then I read the rules a little closer and realized I didn't make it. I fell just short. Uh, I got I got back to here and it didn't make it the rest of the way. So it uh, helps understand the rules to, to try to win. But uh, the second map seems to be almost identical with just the addition of uh, two little features, which you don't even use in this game, but you'll save this map for later and apparently come back to it. So, so I need to keep it. All right, so what's going on here? Well, apparently I've, I've gone to a shop and I've picked up this old bathysphere and I've decided I'm gonna go diving. I'm gonna become a, a new adventurer, uh, like, like the adventurers of old back in the 1920s and 30s who were just getting into creating these bathyspheres. I, I, I looked into the original bathysphere. It looks like it was built in the late 1920s and it was in service for about three or four years as the first kind of underwater submarine that actually had windows and could dive down to, I think, upwards of 3,000 feet. And it held the record until, uh, I believe, 1949. So, yeah, great little great little device. What's going to happen to it as we go underwater? Well, there's there's three columns we need to take, in, take into account. Well, let's look at what are we trying to do. We're trying to go down. We start at the top, and we're going down, down, down into the depths. And oh, I just see there's uh, some, a new depth marker that was not in the previous game. Great, it's gonna be harder. And then you go down and come around and you try to go to the ocean floor. The goal is to try to get onto the ocean floor. The goal is to stay alive. We wanna go down as far as we can go and come back up. But if we can get to the ocean floor, even better, because that means we'll have uh, sort of had a successful test run. We'll have gotten down there. We'll get some pictures of the awesome creatures down on the ocean floor. And then we got to come all the way back up. So we need to make sure that certain things don't happen on the way. First of all, we need to not run out of oxygen. So the oxygen is valuable for getting more dice rolls to go down and to go back up. Once we're out of oxygen, we're out of dice rolls, which means we're stuck wherever we are. Uh, damage. You don't want your bathysphere taking much damage. Uh, the bathysphere uh, damage token tells you how many dice you get to use. So I start with five and I keep using five for a little bit, but then as I take more and more damage, I lose dice and then eh, lose. Uh, and then stress. The bathysphere can take stress. So that, that's a big column uh, that I have to work with. And uh, as I take more and more stress, there's little damage tokens along the way that say I get more damage. 
as I take more stress. Uh, as a physics teacher, I think of stress as force per unit area. Uh, so that's, um, that's a pressure. We're taking extra pressure. It's kind of compressing things. It's maybe getting those leaks in the window that I have to try to patch up uh, and, and try to make it back up maybe before the entire thing is filled with water. Okay. So here we go. Let's let's start diving in. Uh, I, I think I'll explain the, the rules as, as we are going. Uh, basically, I'm going to roll all five dice, and then I'm going to begin to move downward. And things I have to pay attention to are these spaces where you get these negatives. If I pass that space and land on a different space, I have to go back and look at that previous damage spot or, or reduction of stress or reduction of oxygen, and I have to mark that off and take that damage. But if I can land right on one of those spaces, I don't have to take that damage and I can cross it off and never worry about it. So this game is a lot of a, about trying to plan your move so you can take as little damage as possible as you go down. Uh, we also have these different depth zones that every time uh, you cross through a depth zone, um, any spaces you go past it, you have to take extra stress on that move. So we'll see what that looks like as we go. Let's get started, let's go down. So I've got my, got my rolls there, and I'm going to use a little marker. You don't have to use that. You can mark everything, but I like to have a little guy there. Okay, so here we go. Um, so first I see this three could be nice for landing me right there. So let's, let's think about that. Three, and then one, two, three, four. That would be perfect for getting just past the zone. I'll take one stress, but that'll be it. And let's see, the two, I could block that. This is a really good first roll. Uh, and then one, hmm, okay, I'm not going to be able to block this one, but, but let's, let's see what happens here. So, wait, where am I? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, then two, and well, I guess that'll just be it. So I'll do the one, and then one, two, three, four, five. That's not too bad. Of these first zones, I'll, I'll just take a little bit of damage from one of them. And what I've learned from my first game is that I ran out of oxygen, but I still had damage and stress that I could take. So I think I'm going to be welcoming the damage and stress and see how that strategy fails me. So let's do this. So we'll first go three. I got to cross all those out and never worry about them. That's lovely. So three, that one's out of the picture. Uh, then I go four, one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna land there. I've crossed that depth zone. So that may be like those decompression zones where you have to stop and you have to pause a little bit. And may maybe we're talking about stress to the human body at this point. Uh, or maybe it's just extra stress to to the, the bathosphere. Okay, and so that's the four. I can take the two now. I'll go down to this spot and I can cross those off. Oh, that's lovely. I don't have to deal with any of that as well. And then this is where I'm just going to use the one. And go here. And now the five. One, two, three, four, five. Not too bad on that first turn. Okay, now I gotta come back and take a look at this. Uh, this one is a stress and this one is an oxygen. I wanna keep my oxygen to the end. So I'm gonna take the stress. So I have to take one of these and the other one I have to hit on the way back. So here's the thing. I'm gonna be going all the way down, hopefully, and then I gotta come all the way back up. Now, on my way back up, if I land on one of these spaces I've previously landed on before, I'm gonna take stress again. So there's gonna be a lot of spaces that really aren't accessible on the way back up. I'm gonna take stress for landing on those spaces and also any of these spaces that I haven't marked off um, on my way back up, I'll have to now take, take that damage. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the reroll. I have to use oxygen for that. Okay, so here's my first reroll. Let's see what I can get. All right, I got some big numbers. I can get moving. Although big numbers aren't great for actually landing on certain spots. Yikes, oh man, okay, one, two, three, four. So a four would get me, so I'd have to pass this one, but a four would get me to at least land on this one. I won't have to lose any any oxygen or stress ever for that. So that's probably going to be a good idea. I could also do one, two, three, four, five, six, and then I would only take a little bit of stress passing the depth zone, but I'd have, I'd have passed both of those and I'd probably be taking a lot of stress there. So I don't think that's good. Um, so if I move the four, one, two, three, four, then what if I do the three? Then it's one, two, three. I'm only going past two of those zones. That doesn't feel too bad. But, oh, I'm gonna pass a lot of those. One, two, three, four. Okay, I have another four left, so I can land on that one. This is, I'm definitely gonna be taking some hits here. 
Okay, so what's happening? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Land on that one. And then what do I got? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's fortunate. At least I can hit that one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, don't get either of those. Oh boy. So that's taking a that's taking a lot of stress on this round. Now I said I had stress to work with. I, I don't really know if I want to test that, but uh, I, I did make some good ground there. Now here's the thing: if I didn't want to have to take those two stresses here, I could say, you know what? I don't want that six. I'm gonna re-roll. I'm gonna take some oxygen. I'm gonna re-roll all the dice. Hope for some better rolls, and then I don't. Maybe I can land on some of those spaces and not worry about that. But then I've used some oxygen and I'm not taking advantage of a six. Is that, that really moves me along. Maybe I want to take that stress and not lose the oxygen. Oof, I don't know. I think I'm gonna, I think I'll keep moving. All right, so start with the four. One, two, three, four. So I knock that one out. Uh, I don't know if I want to use an oxygen. I don't know how much stress I want to take. Well, here, let me, let me cross off the stress. I'll use two stress. I'm really oxygen shy at this point after the, the first game. Okay, and then the three, passing the depth zone. One, two, three. I've conned two past that, so now I have to take two there. So one, two, and da -da -da, my first damage. All right, I still have five dice though. To get these depth zones, uh, I actually just uh, am covering uh, hydrostatic pressure in my physics classes that I'm teaching right now and uh, we we can do this calculation just as the density of the water thousand kilograms per meter cubed times the gravitational constant G uh, times the, the depth that you go down so as we're getting further and further the pressure is increasing further and further and yeah that's just pushing more and more on our bathosphere um, I can figure out maybe what's the depth of each one of these spots and I could calculate the pressure no let's not do that what was I, I going to do? Did I keep these dice in order? I think I did. So, one, two, three, four is what I wanted to do. Yes. And past that one. Ugh, more stress and oxygen. I don't know if I want to take two more stress already because that's going to get me more damage. What if I What if I do one oxygen? Like I've been pretty good about not using that up, but let's, let's try using one there. Hope I'll do okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that felt nice. I got to go through that without taking anything extra. All right, here was the decision point. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna take three stress if I take that whole six. Whereas if I ignore that and re-roll, I just use up one oxygen, maybe I can get some better roll. I'm bound to be able to land on one of those and not have to deal with that stress. Or do I just wanna keep pushing on and not risk running out of oxygen before I get to the surface? Ooh boy, but three stress is a lot. I mean, I knew I had more to work with, but I, I didn't know if I wanted to push it that far. Hmm. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try not taking that six and just re-rolling them. I don't know if that's a good idea. We'll find out at the end. Hey, I got another six. Hmm, two and a three. I could wipe out all of those. I mean, this, this is really what I wanted to do, right? Do a two, do a three, and I don't have to worry about any of those. Now I can use a big old six. One, two, three, four, five, six, make some ground there. Or, well, let's see what happens in a moment. I can take one, two, three. I have to take that stress, but I at least cover one of them. And then one, two, three, four. Ugh, I gotta take a lot there. Uh, what are some other options? Two, five. And what if I do one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So I can wipe out that one, and then what happens? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, then I just take all the damage there. Blech. Those sixes are really awful. It's like they're great because you move, but... Ugh. Okay, let's do the two and the three first. So the two goes, I'll land on that stress and not take it. The three goes, land on that stress and not take it. So I should feel pretty good about that. I saved that, so maybe I can take a little more of that damage later and not to think too hard. So how about we do the six? Three, four, five, six. And one, two, three. All right, good, so I land on that one. I can at least knock that out. So I land there and I go over the stress. That's one more stress. I haven't taken one of those in a little bit. That, that feels okay.
And now the four. That's going to be the gnarly one. One, two, three, four. Or I could, oh, I could again use some oxygen. And if I, I don't want to keep doing that though. I decided to use the oxygen and throw out the six last time. I think I'm going to keep the four though. I'm going to use the four. If I land there. And although, oof, that's wiping out a lot of those spaces too. So now that one's gone. I can't land on that. So two more stress. One, two, uh-oh, I'm about to take a little damage again. Maybe, I could use the oxygen, I could, oh gosh, that goes right to damage. Two oxygen, no. Oh, no, no, I don't think I'm willing. I think I'm gonna have lots of oxygen at the end of this game, and oh, I've broken my bathysphere this time. So instead of, instead of running out of air and gasping to death, I am going to be crushed by the ocean uh, as the water rushes in. I think that's better. That sounds more terrifying, but I think it's I think it's gonna be a faster way to die. Rather than the long drawn outs, loss of oxygen. What if I just make it back to the surface? Let's go for that. Let's go for making it back to the surface. Um, I also don't know if I like landing right in front of this because I really need a one or maybe a two to land on that space. Oh boy. And I gotta use the oxygen. Oh boy. That was a lot of high numbers there. Yikes. Oi, oi, oi. Well, I think that, that may have sunk me. I, I have to use the three here. So that I don't get overwhelmed with stress. But I can take three stress crossing that line. One, two, three. This is almost as much stress as I had last game, and I take a damage. This did not, this is not going well. I, I may need to turn around even before I get around the corner here. Oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, at least I can land on that damage. It's really, those are the only options I have. I'm gonna move fast and furiously painfully. So I've crossed all of these. So I take stress here. Then I gotta make some choices, stress or oxygen, damage or oxygen. Yikes. Wow, I almost wanna, I almost wanna just forget this game and move on. <laughs> I don't think. Oh my goodness! I am not making it to the ocean floor. I am my my vessel is so beat up. Let's let's take the oxygen hit now. All right, so one, two, three. I'm gonna take three oxygen. I was doing so well on the oxygen. Let's 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 use it up. Let's use it up to get past that, because I don't want to take that stress and damage right now. Wow! And that was just those first two dice. Goodness gracious! So one, two, three, four, five. I can land on the damage at least. I'll just take a stress. I think that's my best option. All right, so there we go. Got to take this stress. This is a stressful dive. The, the first one, I, I played this last night to get a sense of, of the rules before I kind of, kind of did a test through. I felt like things were going really well until I didn't quite make it back to the surface because I ran out of oxygen. But yeah, I've already, is, is this more stress than I took the entire game last time? It is. I've already taken more stress and almost as much damage as I took last time. Got a lot of oxygen left. Well, I definitely changed my strategy and I don't think it's going a whole lot better. Okay, so that was the five. I got two sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can touch the ocean floor. I can do it. You know, I'm down this far. I could turn around and start heading back, use those big sixes to get back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that would be perfect. I would land right there. But I want to touch the ocean floor. I want to give it a try. Let's see if I can make it. I think I've got the oxygen to do it. Maybe I'll have the damage in the dice to get back. I don't know. So let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll take the six, land on the ocean floor. And okay, I'm here. I'm looking around. I forgot my flashlight. I can't see any fish. I can't see anything else. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 run. So here I am. Oh my God, I take something here. I'm gonna have to take both of those. I have no choice because I'm passing it on the way down and I'm gonna pass it on the way back up again. So 
I'm losing an oxygen there. As I passed the first time, now we use a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> That's not good because I get the stress of landing on the same spot again. So I just got two stress. One, two, take some more damage. My five dice is gone down to four. I would have liked one more reroll before I lost the die. This is not going to go well. I'm going to take at least three stress on the way up going past these depth zones. <laughs> I'm going to need some really lucky rolls. Oh, let's get that die out of here so I don't even see that. This is the... Oh! Oh, look at those small little numbers. <laughs> that is not going to do it. One, two, three, four. All right, so the four gets me there. And one, two, three. Do I have a three? I have a four. Oh, I want to land on that. That's nice. <sighs> one, two. That's not as nice. But at least I can land on that one. Well, you know, that's as good as I can do. Two, three, four. Coming to here. One, two. Which one? Yeah, I landed on there. One, two, three, four. I thought I had that counted up right. So I can land on that one and not take that. That's good. And then one, take a stress for, for hitting that spot. And then two, you can avoid both of those. This is not looking good for crossing over this depth zone. Do I remember to mark off the oxygen when I when I rerolled? It's doubtful. I better go back and do that. So that's for my last reroll and this upcoming reroll. Big numbers, yay or nay, do I want that? One, two, three. I can land on that. That's, I mean, that's that's a definite because any of these extra zones I go past is stress for each one of those. So I need to do as few as possible. One, two, three. And I need to land on that to not lose my oxygen there. So that's good. One, two, I take two stress. One, two, this is not looking good. I take one more damage. I mean, I knew that. I should stop saying that. Down to three dice next time. But maybe I can make some major ground on the way back at this point. So one, two, three, four. Oh, the four, that's good. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, that's, I couldn't ask for anything better than that on the way back up. One, two, three, four. I got big rolls and I didn't land on anything that'll take more stress. So two sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. What if I pause and just look around a little bit, realize what I've been doing? It's like I've, I went to this, this bargain basement here on Beachside Bay. And, you know, I just think of those, I just think of those little beach towns with all these cheap knockoff novelty shops and you just get all this junk. And then in one of them, it turns out there's a basement with even cheaper junk in it. How amazing is that? So I wander into this basement and there it is. There's the bathysphere. Ah, oh, so amazing. It was like 25 bucks. That was it. I don't, I'm not actually, actually quite sure how I got that out of there. These things are heavy. We're talking many tons. And I need somebody to lower it into the, into the water for me. I needed a whole team for this. So I've, I've bought this bathysphere for cheap in this basement, but I've, I've gone out and I spent thousands on hiring this, this team to, to help lower me into the ocean. So it's a, not, it's a little bit non-congruous. Is that the word I want? It's, that's a bit weird. I, I save on one place just to overspend on another. And it's a pretty good chance I'm gonna die right now. So do, do I get to keep playing the game if, if I die now? I can't imagine that I get I get thrown out because with 64 pages, if you die once, you don't get to the rest of the pages. You have to start from the beginning. It's like those old Nintendo games that you, you die and you don't get to start midway through the level. You just get sent back to the beginning. Ugh. Okay. That's it. I used my dice, right? And I got one less. I got three die according to this. I'm about to take some more stress along the way. Oxygen. I Yeah, not happening. Once I get a bunch of sixes, then I can race to the top. Hmm. 
five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. That's good. Land on that. That'll take your stress. Whatever. One, two, three, four, five. Be a bit nonchalant here. That's where I'm landing. I don't got much of a choice. Ba -ba. Take the four. One, two, three, four. Land on that. And then do the one. And I gotta land on a space I've been on before. So I take stress. I take damage. I'm down to two dice. I really kind of marvel at how different this this game has been. I mean, I guess I have two extra stress zones. Oh yeah, I got to I got to cross that stress zone. I already can't make it. I have two stress zones to cross, so that'll give me two stress and, and I lose. Yeah, I really really marvel at how yeah, I ran out of oxygen, which by the way, I've almost done here, but I took so little stress and damage comparatively. What bad choices did I make? Huh. Kind of leaves you wondering. Did I cross off that? A two and a one! That doesn't get me very far. At least I don't die immediately. One, two. All right, so I land there. And I'll take a stress and a damage. I'm remembering the beginning of this video where I'm like trying to reach my arms out and plug the leaks. And the whole thing just goes down right at the end. That's where we're there. That was my two. Here's my one. Stress. And the whole thing just caved in. And here comes the water. I have oxygen. I have just a little bit of oxygen left, so I haven't died from that. Here comes the water. Okay. And that's it. How did I do compared to how did I do compared to last game? Where did I make it? So I thought I made it, but it turned out it was here at this spot where I actually made it to. So fell a little bit short of, of my previous. Still the same same gruesome end. Didn't make it back. Are these the easy levels? I mean I didn't have to touch the ocean floor. I could have you know, I could have turned around back here instead of doing the six and the six where I took Plenty of damage through there. I could have turned around and started hightailing it back. I still don't know if I would have made it. I took one, two. I only took two stress through there, I think. Huh. Leaves you wondering. Okay, but there you go. Uh, it's uh, kind of actually pretty satisfying. The first two times I played it, I failed. And that really wants me to to try it again and succeed, see if I can get some better rolls, make better decisions. And I'm also really curious about 64 pages worth of information. I mean, like here's rules, 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 rules. That and that's it. It's it's four four pages of rules and 60 pages of maps. I think the last two pages actually were, were showing a sample gameplay. Anyway, that's a whole lot of map sheets. What, What is to come? What more is there? How many, what more failure am I looking at in the future? Should I, should I continue trying to, to succeed at touching the ocean floor and coming back? Or do I just forget about it? It does no good to touch the ocean floor if you are dead. Thanks. Maybe I should have read that and really, really taken that to heart. It's like, don't be dead. Be back at the surface and be disappointed in your mission. But at least you can, you can smell the flowers and the spring is in the air and you can enjoy that. And you can go and lay on the beach and look at that hunk of junk bathysphere and your, and your team who's ready to lower you down. Hmm. Maybe I'll apply those lessons in the future games. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching another episode of Brad's Board. I was not bored playing this, uh, and I definitely want to play it again. We'll see if I record a few more of these. I don't think I'll record me attempting this map again, but if you're interested, maybe I'll play some of the future maps. But if you're interested, just go go to Board Game Geek and, and download them. Give it a try. You just need... Five dice. They say you need eight for some of the future missions if you 
uh, want to do some of that stuff. You don't even need the, the, the marker. That was that's fine. You probably have that anyway. Uh, they say you don't even need the dice. It actually comes with uh, a little a little sheet where you apparently can use a, a timepiece and use the timepiece to serve as your dice. So there's really nothing stopping you. I guess having a printer. You need a printer, but you don't even need a printer if if you've got an iPad or a stylus and a stylus where you can write on. Anyway, I'm just I'm just kind of rambling here. Uh, yeah, sure. Go go give it a try. I'm having fun. This has been Brad's board. Like I don't have. There's no ending. Did I not really think of a way to end this? I drowned. I mean, there's really not much to say. I drowned. Bye bye.